just giving you a quick tour of my property. This is another Maverick I bought. Low mileage car. No rust on this thing either. This was solid when I got it. Of course, the uh, tarp fell in, but a tree had fallen on it. And uh, it runs and drove, but uh, it just got no roof. They cut it off. I sold the rear end out of it, and uh, there's a lot of other good parts on it. I actually bought this car for the engine and tranny for uh, those Ford, that Ford van down there. All right, this is my other 46. This, this one's a four-door. I've got the uh, two-door over there. So this is a four-door. No motor in this one. It's got the tranny hanging in there. This is a rough, rough car too. Full of rust. This fender don't, well, this fender's got a little rust in the bottom down there, but. This door opens pretty good. Dash is complete, unlike the two door. Uh, inside needs done or ripped out and thrown away. Got suicide doors in it. <coughs> suicide doors. That's kind of cool. Here's my can of WD. I was looking for that. Look at all these spider webs, man. But this is how I got it. There's actually a tree growing up through the bumper. You can see it still part of it down there. The trunk lid, uh, the trunk is gone. There's the radiator for it. Tail lights are no good, but the housings are good. It's got a few good parts on it. I'm asking $700 for this too, so. Uh, 350 Pontiac motor. That was supposedly in a little race car. That's what I was told anyway, who knows. I'm going to rebuild it one day. I got a bunch of them. I got about eight or ten Pontiac motors I'm going to rebuild. That's a brand new windshield for my Grand Prix. Uh, I'm keeping it. <clears throat> Here's my 71 Grand Prix I'm going to redo. That's where those seats and stuff are going in. And I got a 73 Formula behind, next to it over there. Uh, I want to restore that car someday too. Um... I really got to go through this stuff. That's got a 350 rebuilt motor in it with a cam. Really sounds good. Uh, but I'm going to pull that out and put a 400 in it, which I have up in the shop. Low mileage 400. <clears throat> Pontiac motors here. A couple of them. I got a four speed tranny right here from Pontiac, which I'm thinking about putting in that 73. Um, tons of parts. I got another, here's another 400 Pontiac right here. I got a few Pontiac parts laying around. New bearings, stuff for Pontiac. Transmission Pontiac. I got tons of trannies for Pontiac stuff. BOPs they call them, Buick Olds and Pontiac. Uh, some fire uh, Pontiac rims. I got a ton of that stuff around too. It's all over the yard. <clears throat> Here's an old Grand Prix 72 I got for parts. Some guy talked me out of buying the, the front end out of it, the uh, steering and all that stuff. And so I just, and the motor's good in this, but it's just hanging there now under this pipe. But I bought that for parts for mine. All right, this is a early 70s <clears throat> Dodge D, I think it's a 400. It's got the big block 361 in it, which I uh, filled up with some diesel fuel and oil to try to uh, free up the motor. It's still soaking. I haven't done anything with it since. Um, get some rust, the hood's rusty. But the nice thing is it's got the big block in it and it's got the uh, 
I think it's a four speed transmission with a two speed rear end. <clears throat> and it's got a, a power takeoff unit up in there. Dual axle, I mean, uh, dual wheel, heavy duty springs. It needs work, but I'm only asking like 800 bucks for it, 850 bucks. Um, early 70s, I'm thinking 74. <clears throat> yeah, there's all the power takeoff stuff right there on the dash. A two speed rear end right there, switch. Somebody did something with the speedometer up there, I don't know what, but. She needs work, I mean, uh, rockers ain't too bad on this side. Door's got some rust on the bottom. Fender's got some rust in it. Big old tires on this thing. She beat up though. Somebody used her and abused her. Yeah, rockers on this side are pretty good. Just surface rust is all I see. There's some. There's a hole in the floor right there. Uh, yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments. Old interstate motorcycle I bought, I was gonna fix up. <laughs> Haven't got to it yet, probably never will. Uh, more of this stuff from the uh, auctions. This is the other side of the building. <clears throat> Old GTO over there, 70. 242 car, uh, no nose, no title, no motor, no tranny. It does have a rear end in it. Okay, here's an 83. Ford Fairmont Futura, straight six cylinder. Uh, I started washing it, but uh, I didn't get a chance to finish it. Needs a windshield. The car runs, automatic, drives down the street. Pretty decent tires, cool looking rims. It is a four door. <coughs> Dash is a little cracked up. Uh, you know, I think the air is cold in this, too. Yes, it is. Last I drove it. Seat's in good shape. Headliner's falling down. Cracked windshield. I don't know if I mentioned that. Decent car. Make a nice driver. <clears throat> a little bit of brake work they're a little spongy but it stops i'll probably fix the brakes before i sell it but i am asking 3500 for it and that's what i got into it believe it or not i traded my maverick i had for it which i paid 3500 for i thought i'd be better off with this because this ran but either way i'm probably going to take a hit oh, pop the hood There's the engine. Battery's probably dead. It's been sitting here, uh, I don't know, eight months since I started it last. But again, she'd make a nice driver. <clears throat> oh yeah, and I bought a bus. I was gonna turn it into a camper. Oh, here's some more parts. These are TRS uh, Triumph Spitfire uh, noses, hoods. And some Camry stuff over there. I like Camrys. Toyota's a good car. Uh, but there's that bus I was gonna turn to a camper. Uh, of course I haven't done shit with it either yet. <clears throat> I got some alternators here for uh, 70, 71, 72 uh, Mopars. Chevelle. Cal uh, vent looking thing there. Here's my little MG. It's a 67 MGB. 
I'm working on it. I got the fenders off it and everything. Got it running good. Got the floors put in it. But then I started piling shit on top of it. And here we go. Another project going nowhere. Here's that 400 I'm going to put in that uh, 71 Grand Prix. This supposedly has 26,000 miles on it. And I t took it apart. It's like brand new on the inside. Yeah, all my formula stuff is up in here. I guess that's for the formula too. I mean, I got that car as a basket case and uh, shit, parts are everywhere.